What's going on, guys? It's Renegade Gene Ninja here, and I just did my first dual commentary. You guys gotta cut me some slack, though, because it's my first one. Wasn't sure what I was doing. So, uh, yeah, give, give me a little bit of break there. There's some awkward moments. Not sure what's going on, but I'm gonna post it to my channel. I'm still gonna post my normal three videos, but uh, I'll just post it as, like, a bonus video for you guys. That's not what this video is about. This video is about Black Ops, my Black Ops 2 wish list. But I just wanted to tell you about that. And uh, he sent me a message. And I was like, he's like, when do you want to do a dual commentary? And I was like, well, I can do it in like a, an hour and a half. Uh, and he was like, okay. So I went to the Y. Uh, I came back, choked on a protein drink, put on a headset, and did a dual com. First try, like first first take or whatever. So it is what it is. First take, dual com. So uh, yeah, cut me a break on that. Let's get into the Black Ops 2 wish list, all right? This is going to be a whole in-depth series, so uh, stay tuned. This time, I just want to talk about the weapons, all right? And uh, as I pull out this AUG, I like the AUG, by the way. I think it's a cool weapon, but um, rocking flak jacket so the RC car can't touch me. Get out of here, RC car. Anyway, um, so the weapons. I don't really care that much about what weapons are in it, per se, with the exception of one weapon. And I'll get, that, get to that in a minute. Um... I don't care if, you know, the M16, I'm sure the M16 is going to be in it, of course. It's like in every single one. But anyway, my, my point is, is it's not the exact weapon that I care about. To me, it's, it's a weapon balance issue that I care about. Weapon balance, and more importantly than weapon balance, is that good weapons aren't cheap weapons. And uh, I'll kind of describe that to you. To me, cheap weapons are like akimbo weapons or shotguns that can shoot people across the map. Like, stuff like that. To me, that's just, that's that's crap, that's cheap. Or, uh, you know, the Type 95 to me wasn't too overpowered, but the, the when you can sometimes just one burst somebody and it would just instant drop them, you know, that was kind of cheap. But uh, I'm not going to get in. I don't really hate the Type 95, but I don't know, guys. I, I would like to see non-cheap weapons in the game because, to me, if a, wep a weapon should take skill to master, and I understand there's got to be weapons for noobs, but they should not be the most powerful weapons in the game, if that makes sense. Um... And that brings me to my one weapon that I really want to see in the game, is the AK-47. And now this is not just the normal AK, any AK-47. It's not any AK-47 that I want. It's the AK-47 that was in Black Ops 1, or the one that was in Modern Warfare 1. Now they're pretty similar. Um, of course the weapon damage and stuff is different for the games, but the whole idea of it. The gun, look at that. Oh, I love the Blackbird. I hope that returns, by the way. But uh, I'm not going to talk about killstreaks right now. The AK-47 on those games had this thing where if you were a noob and you were trying to use it, it wasn't that good of a gun. You know, you were better off with the FAMAS or the AUG or something like that. But if you could master the recoil on that gun, it was like a laser gun. And it was fully auto and it was just so sexy. I don't know, just something about it. It might not have been the best gun in the game, but it was my favorite. And I don't care if it's the best gun in the new game. As long as it's just like this gun, I'll use it because I love this gun. I, I don't know, like, the AK-47 and me, we're just, we're best friends. That's, we're, that's the best way to put it, we're best friends. Just like my puppies. Man's best friend, right there. Yes, get those puppies. I want to see the AK-47 from Black Ops 1 or Modern Warfare 1. Look at that, just see how it's, it's barely even kicking? And it, it's kicking and it's recoiling, but all my time that I've played in the game, I've learned how to keep it on a... I don't know, to master the recoil. That's the best way to describe it. You learn to master the recoil. Sometimes it kicks off to the right. Sometimes it kicks off to the left. Sometimes it kicks here or there. But usually, if you get learned, if you learn, if you get learned, yeah, if you get learned how to do it, you can master that recoil. Anyway, enough about the AK-47 and how it and I are going to have a love child. Let's talk about other guns. Let's talk about the red-headed stepchild that I like to slap around. Akimbo weapons. Akimbo FNGs or FMGs or whatever the heck they're called. I don't want to see those in this game, all right? If there are akimbo weapons, and let's be honest, guys, there are going to be akimbo weapons in this game. All right, there are. That's just how Call of Duty series works. At least make them, you know, useful at, like, shotgun range. As they should be. They're, they should be more powerful because you got two of them, but they, you shouldn't have much range because you can't aim down sights, you know? And I don't know. I, to me, if you can take me out while I'm aiming straight at your face with my weapon by just spraying akimbo weapons from a pretty good distance, a medium-sized distance, that that's annoying. So I, I don't want to see that in the game. Um... I do want to see more ammo, though. And uh, in this game, I don't know if you know, Black Ops 2, they had a double, a dual mag was giving you more ammo, whereas the other ones, an extended mag gave you more ammo. And I would like to see the extended mag give you more ammo instead of the dual mag. The reason is, and it probably won't be like this, but the reason is, is because the dual mag, you don't always, like, you don't always know when your, when your quick reload's coming. So it puts, like, a luck factor in it instead of just, like, 
you know, extended mags, you can, you know exactly when you need to reload. You know, here, right here, I'm running out of weapons. Well, actually, I didn't run fully out of ammo, but I just feel like I always have to run dual mags because I need the extra ammo, and I'd rather have extended mags with the extra ammo. I don't know. It, to me, it's like every time you need to reload quick, it just happens to not be on your fast reload time. So that's what I'd like to see. And in general, I just like to see more weapons or more ammo, period. Like even without the extended max, just more ammo. I feel like you should be able to push through a pretty good streak with the ammo that you're spawned with before you have to pick up a weapon. I don't know. That's just me, guys. That's how I feel. Maybe it'll be in that class system that I talked about, my other one, the 10-point class system. I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. But I do like the way that Modern Warfare 3 did the noob tubes. I do. It, they pretty much turned noob tubes into pro pipes because you had to be really accurate to kill with them. And uh, you just couldn't spray them. I love that. It was so nice not getting tubed, like, barely ever in Modern Warfare 3. And I would like to see that in Black Ops 2. Hopefully they take a page out of Modern Warfare 3's book. You know, nobody cried and complained because the noob tubes were too weak. I'm pretty sure everybody liked it. So I hope to see that. And uh, I hope that they do the same thing with the grenades as Modern Warfare 3 did. Just, you know, a nice small blast radius that if you put a grenade right next to a camper who's sitting in a corner, it kills them. But you don't just chuck them across the map and get collaterals because the grenade radius is so huge. I don't know. Like, to me, I like the way that Modern Warfare 3 did their explosions. And I would like to see that in Black Ops 2. But anyway, guys, maybe maybe you don't feel the same way. Maybe you do. I don't know. You know, who knows? But you guys can let me know in the comments below. Um, tell me if you agree with me, if you disagree with me. Uh, disagree with me. Rate the video. Let me know what you think. And uh, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. I've got a whole series coming out about this stuff. I want to go over the kill streaks. I'm really pumped about the kill streak part. But uh, look at this. Everybody left. Ha ha ha! Make them all quit. I love Black Ops. It was one of my one of my first Call of Duties. So uh, I can't wait to bring this series, and I can't wait for Black Ops too. So. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below, and uh, don't forget to rate the video. All right, thanks for watching, guys. G Ninja out. Peace.